how, because this is a rare disease, and once a patient is diagnosed, um, how do we find the specialist? One way would be to go to the uh, Erdheim Chester Disease Global Alliance uh, website. There is a list of specialists around the country and also in the world where, uh, to whom actually the patient can go to for uh, a second opinion or actually uh, to inquire about management. Um, and I believe in the website, uh, it has not only blood doctors, but also uh, specialists from various specialties. Yeah, and then um, another um, website or another organization in general for our histiocytosis is the Histiocytosis Association. They have a running list of um, physicians across the globe who specialize in not just our digestive disease, but other histiocytosis that are related such as Langerhans cell histiocytosis, androsite orphan disease, um, which the patients can look up as well. So that's a very important question. When patients come to us, one way we have um, circumvented this problem is by forming the histiocytosis working group, where we all sit together and discuss every case in a tumor board format where specialists from all um, fields, lung doctors, kidney doctors, um, you know, your uh, hormone specialists, pathologists, radiologists, they all sit together and talk about the cases at length. But it is really important for a disease like our Chester disease, I believe, where multiple organs can be involved for the uh, providers to be on the same page. So we would encourage that, you know, you discuss with your providers. It depends on what system you are in. Uh, if you're seeing different providers in different clinics, you may give them a contact information of their own, uh, their other, your other providers so that they can talk with each other and get on the same page. If you have contradictory uh, opinions, if you have uh, opinions that don't mix with each other very well, may ask the questions again. And if needed, again, like we said earlier, uh, go to the list of the providers that specialize in those disease or the centers um, that do specialize to get further opinion. And we often work with community oncologists and hematologists uh, very closely to manage the care. In general, for rare diseases like Erdheim Chester disease, um, it is important to have at least one consultation face-to-face -face with an expert in the country. The good news is most of the community doctors or even academic doctors who are not uh, very familiar with ECD, they are very willing to work with the ECD specialists in the uh, care centers. Since Erdheim Chester disease and other histiocytic disorders are very rare, so we don't have very high level of evidence on how to exactly uh, monitor these patients with Erdheim Chester disease and so forth. Our practice currently, and that goes along with what the um, ECD Global Alliance has put forth in the guidelines that were mentioned earlier, is to pursue a baseline uh, PET CT scan of the whole body, uh, which uses a glucose based uh, dye. Uh, that's used for other cancers as well. Uh, in addition with an MRI of the brain and the heart, uh, depending on your symptoms, other scans may be warranted. In addition, you may need, a, we typically do a detailed um, hormonal panel on the patients, uh, which may be tailored based on your symptoms as well. Um, and like mentioned earlier, we do molecular testing on your tumor um, initially to see what treatment would be best. For monitoring, we typically use PET CT scan uh, for other organs of the body to see a response, but um, we can also, depending on what organs you have involved, MRI um, or CT scans may be reasonable as well. Uh, we continue to monitor hormones as well as with endocrinology follow up alongside uh, for your uh, deficits and uh, then monitor you for that. So initially, we repeat scan approximately three to four months. If things look good, we continue to follow you every three to six months uh, and go from there.